Hey everyone, I'm Colin Quinn, part of our consulting team here at Kinetic. Welcome to the first episode of our multi-part series on Cosplay for Beginners. In this series, we'll be covering some quick tips and tricks that will help you get the most out of your cosplay experience. In today's video, we'll cover how to save your favorites. Part one, the why, what's the benefit? Cosplay is a lot of different domains and modules with a lot of menus requiring a lot of click-throughs to get to where you wanna be. This can be, make it hard to find the things you use most often or on a daily basis. Fortunately, I have an easy solution for you guys that will help you get to the screens you use most often with just one click. Okay, step one. So let's go ahead and navigate up to our user preferences icon on the upper right part of the screen right here. The little, looks like almost like a head silhouette. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. See where it says my, manage my menu and configure user preferences. So this will take us to the applications list that contains all the applications within Cospoint and allow us to set up our favorites list. So let's go ahead and click the hyperlink. All right, so we're in the configure user preferences screen. My menu application list contains all the applications within Cospoint. So for t the sake of today's demo, let's say that I'm a sales associate who is responsible for managing customers, managing sales orders, printing sales order acknowledgements, and viewing my sales order status reports. So we're gonna go ahead and query up those application lists from this giant list of everything, right? So we're gonna go ahead and click the query button. So the query button is one of the most powerful tools in Cosplay. We can use it to slice and dice data and search for items in a ton of unique ways. Make sure to get familiar with it and play with some custom queries in your test database. So we'll have a video coming out soon on the query tool, so subscribe and turn on notifications because you're not gonna wanna miss that one. Okay, let's query up the roles and responsibilities we outlined before. Again, they were manage customers, manage sales orders, print sales order acknowledgements, and view sales order status information reports. So first things first, we're gonna come in here, we're gonna search by name, we're gonna say contains, so let's just go ahead and search and customers. One record, so that's our one. So we're gonna click select and that's gonna bring it into our my menu which functions as our favorites. Okay, so we have our customers. So let's go ahead and grab our sales orders. So we've got 17 records. So we gotta make sure we choose the right one here. And we know it's gonna be under materials. Manage sales orders right here. So we're gonna head and click select, bring it into our menu. All right, let's grab our next one, which is print sales or acknowledgements. Six records. So print sales or acknowledgements, select that, bring it into our favorites list. And let's grab our last one, right? Which is our view sales order status. Two records. So view sales order status information, so we're gonna bring it in there. Okay, let's go ahead and make this a little bigger for you guys so you can see everything we got going on here. Okay, so we have all our core applications that we're responsible for in our My Menu or our Favorites list. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add a sequence, right? So this is the order in which they're gonna appear in our Favorites list. So we know, first things first, we need to add our customers before we can create our sales orders, print our acknowledgements, or view our sales order status information. So another thing you guys can do is you can shrink up these windows. Here's a little extra tip. So just like in Excel, you can click between the two screens, click and drag to shrink the things down. Additionally, we can drag these applications to reorder them, right? So let's say I wanna bring the application in front of the title. So I can just click and drag and it'll pop over. Additionally, you can highlight all these, come up to options, come down to arrange table columns, and we could use these arrows to move them up and down. So it's just an extra little tip and trick for you guys today. Okay, now that we have all of our responsible applications that we do on a daily basis in our My Menu or Favorites list, we're gonna go up and hit the Save icon. All right, so then we can go ahead and close this message out, we can close our screen out, and now, we can go up and access our favorites. So what we need to do is go up and click the star on the upper left-hand corner of the screen. And this will allow us to access all of our favorites with just one simple click. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it out. So here's our applications. Let's click Manage Customers. One click. So instead of having to click 
browse applications, accounting, accounts receivable, customers, manage customers, we're able to access the screen with just one simple click. So let's go ahead and do it for our other ones too. So let's pop open our sales orders. There they are. Again, one simple click. Sales or acknowledgements. Again, one easy click. And if at any given time you want to go back to an application you already have open, see how we have this little four here? That tells us we have four applications open, which are the four in our favorites list. So we can click right here and we can pop back to any of them at every given time. So let's say we want to pop back to sales orders. We just click and again, we're back there with one simple click, which is awesome. Okay. So if at any time you need to add any additional screens to our menu or favorites list, we can go up and click the little star like we did to access it before and come down and click the gear icon where it says manage my menu. So we're going to click there. And now back in here, we could delete them. We could add additional ones, whatever we need to do, right? So that's it. By saving our favorites, you'll be able to access the features and functions you use most often or daily with just one simple click. How awesome is that? Okay, if you guys liked the video, learned anything, go ahead, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends. All that really helps grow the channel. If you guys have anything else that you'd like us to do a video on for quick tips and tricks, let us know in the comments below. Thanks, and see you guys in our next video.